Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel PT and for today what I have in here it is V-Rally 4. So V-Rally 4 it is developed by the Kivaton Games and it is using their own engine, the KT engine. Kivaton it is well known for developing games like the latest games from WRC and even Flat Out 4. So yeah, it wasn't Bugbeard that did develop Flat Out like the classic flat out games, it was Kiloton, which took the franchi franchise. So let's take a look into the settings menu, so as you can see you can personalize between the resolution, v-sync and also dynamic resolution. For this video I will be using the median settings, ok, as you can see everything is set to median, we have a preset where you can choose between multiple presets, and this is the post-processing where I will be using FXAA plus DAA, and uh, SSAO, Motion Blur, Bloom, you know, you know, all that kind of stuff. So for this video I will be using two tracks, the Sequoia, or Sequoia, or Sequoia, I don't know them, which is a forest from USA, and also Bolivia in a buggy race with rain. So let's start with Sequoia. Uh, with the maximum settings, the game didn't hold on to 30 frames per second all the time, while the high settings, or the high settings with dynamic resolution, the performance was pretty much the same above 30 frames per second. The median settings, which is the settings that I will be using in this video, in this gameplay, um, it is the settings that I prefer the most. It offers uh, pretty much an experience within 40 to 50 frames per second, and the low settings, which which grants you a frame rate above pretty much 50 frames per second, uh, it has a very big downgrade. On Bolivia, it's pretty much the same case, except that the eye settings no longer holds on to the 30 frames per second, but with dynamic resolution, it kind of don't get below 30 frames per second. The median settings takes an impact, but it stays relatively between 35 frames per second and 50, and the low settings just plays above 50 frames per second. So, as the gameplay of the Rally, it's not that different from WRC in my opinion. I didn't play too much WRC, but when I picked up this game and started to play, it actually feels like WRC, but in pretty much a more arcade ish game. So, the tracks are more arcade ish, everything feels a little bit more arcade, and uh, I don't know, a little bit more fantasy rally than actually reality. But it's it's fine, and it seems that they are trying to take on on third two series because you have buggy races and uh, kind of uh, uh, some sort of uh, V rally, which uh, which is some sort of rally cross. You need to get the jokers on the race. So there are multiple stuff in here that kind of resembles me there too, but with the gameplay from the WFC. As a matter of opinion, for me, Codemasters Rally games are still the best one without any single doubt of that. But if you don't like the Codemaster games and you prefer a different type of Rally, if you prefer WFC gameplay, probably you will enjoy the Rally. Okay? So that's my opinion about this game. I'm no reviewer, it's just my personal opinion. And it is to give you an idea of what you can expect in performance and what you can expect in gameplay. So I guess that's it. So hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video. After this track, I will be playing on Bolivia with the baby races. Okay. And with that, I'd hope to see you soon. Thank you a lot for watching and good Airpin right open 30. Left three short in the crest, keep middle 50. Left five, cut 100. Caution crest into right four break. In the hairpin left and right four, 100 in the kick. Break hairpin right into left five over crest 30. Crest into right six short and left three long. Left five into right six tighten. And right three opens long 50 and jump.
Left five Titans, hairpin left. Crest into right five and left five into right three, 100. Crest into left five and right three. In the finish, 